Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. Welcome aboard another stream, another flight. We are in Hawaii today. We're going to be flying across the islands like we normally do. So aloha and mahalo. Let's get us into the airplane. This is our flight today. I wanted to show you the map because they have changed it. They now have a high definition satellite map on the menu here so we can see all the mountains. I overlaid the airspace which is pretty cool. So you can see little airspace markers. It kind of looks like the old Microsoft Flight Sim X airspace. But hey, uh, it's still a cool feature. And then you could keep on zooming. I mean, look at this. We can see all the way the buildings and the airports and you could see the different terrain. Oh, this used to be super blurry. But now it's not. So I think that's a cool feature. Just wanted to showcase that here. Before we go and fly, we'll be flying today in our Britain Norman Islander. We have a nice IFR flight plan uh, filed and ready to go. Oh, we're in our Britain Island, uh, Britain Norman Islander here. Uh, this is just the base texture. We yet don't have an outside livery set up for General Airlines. But if you turn your attention to the fancy, fancy rows we have inside, Look at this, we're getting kitted out with all of the General Airlines livery. We want to make sure that you know you're flying General Airlines when you are on board our aircraft. And we also got our nice General Airlines right there behind the Britain Norman logo. Uh, not too distracting, I hope. Just enough to remember that this is our airplane. Uh, 116 er for Hilo VOR, so we'll put that up here. Wait, how do we switch to COM? That's just switching the COM frequency, that's switching the NAV frequency. <gasps> how is it you remove the buttons? Uh oh, there's an airplane coming in, we, don't, we should take off soon. Oh no! Oh no, I can't swap. Okay, we're gonna use NAV 2 today. 16.9. Wait, I can't even use Nav 2? Has the new update ruined my airplane? Uh oh, it's just brilliant. We're gonna go anyways. We got the GPS set up. Here at General Airlines, we have many backups in case the system doesn't work. We call those redundancies, and those are for safety purposes. Here's a great example. Our VORs aren't working, so we're gonna fly visually with GPS. Fuel selectors are good. Our trim is set for takeoff. Um, carburetor heats off. Parking brake is off. Our pitch is all good. We got our propeller full forward. Mixture full forward. Uh, Captain Anderson. Landing lights on. Landing lights on. Well, you said that, but you didn't turn them on. So I'll just do it myself. Thank you very much. Nav lights. Pulse light. Strobe light. Beacon light. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, at this time we are cleared for departure, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Smoothly apply full power. And away we go. United 1092 radar service terminated at present swap until C bend frequency change approved. Good day, United 1092. Airspeed's alive. Alaska 889 maintains maximum forward speed for a sequence. Next We're above our minimum single engine speed. We're going to maintain runway heading here. And we have a positive rate of climb. Oh, there's a Hawaiian coming in behind us. One two zero decimal two five. Good day, six seven November. They might have improved the radio. Oh, <gasps> well, that's pretty cool. Um, but now I actually gotta change this here. Hello, departure Islander November nine or six six seven November. Just departed out a Hilo. Squawking. Five, seven. Kilo 
departure Islander Bravo November 2 is passing 2,500 feet. Did they add cruise thousand. ships into Hilo? Oh, that's pretty cool. Islander Bravo November 2. There's Hilo a Hawaiian coming in the land. Alaska 854, radar service terminated. President Squawk, I'm still on. Three zero one two continues. Plan six seven November. And goodbye, Hilo. Into the clouds we go. We should probably turn our strobe lights. Well, we'll keep our strobe lights on unless they start making it hard to see here. IFR departure. That's why we filed an IFR plan because this weather today is not very VFR. If we can be VFR. I mean, if we could be VMC, that'll be great, but IFR Procedures is perfect. Ah, we're popping out of the clouds now. You can see some of the volcanoes off on our left-hand side, and we're continuing up and away. We're doing pretty well, so we'll go ahead and reduce our, uh, power. There's a manifold pressure slowly dropping. There it goes. It's about 24 right now. So what we'll do is we'll also reduce our propeller RPM. Whoa, that's too much. Don't want to over torque. So we're not going to over torque the propellers here. And look at that gorgeous terrain. We're continuing to climb now towards Okala, even though we can't seem to get our VOR set up. There's 7,300. We're climbing up to 8,000 right now. We're talking to HCF radio. No, a Hilo departure, actually. We're listening to HCF radio, I believe. We're on the uh, live ATC.net. Gotta love them. And you know what sound that is, and you know what it means. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we'd like to thank today's sponsor, Jittery Joe's, for providing coffee and partnered with General Airlines. Without them, your pilot would be taking a nap right now. Thank you, Jittery Joe's. Oh, so pretty, though. Look at those nice canyons carved out by the uh, the rivers flowing off the volcano there. And then we'll go ahead and lean that mixture back. We'll see a little dip in our fuel flow. Cool. We'll be saving some fuel on this flight. We got 50% uh, of our fuel. Well, a little less than 50 in both tanks here. More than enough to reach our destination and carry a full load of passengers. One, four. So look for the one that says BN2 Britain Norman Islander and it will give you all the information. Whoa! Okay, that fast seatbelt sign's going right back on. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, six, seven, five, Return to your seats and when we're out of the turbulence, we'll turn it back off. Hello, Maui. Aloha. From 8,000 feet. And center, November 9 or 667, November, Aloha at 8,000 feet. Direct, uh, Lanai. Islander Bravo, November 2, Honolulu, center altimeter, three zero decimal one zero, continue as planned. Three zero one zero, continue as planned. Six seven November. Okay, Delta 4, Hello, Lanai, how are you doing today? Six four three. Uh, we can only see just the very edge right there. Some of the trees and the shoreline there. Ah, oh, but it looks so green on this side. Oh, goodbye, Lanai. I didn't realize we're already over top. Um. Wow, we're gone. We're just passing it. There's the airport, and the VOR is right over there. And we are sailing right along over the Pacific here. And with my commercial students... We were doing simulators. There's a back course localizer in Hawaii. So we'd go out to Hawaii to do a back course with our instrument procedures. And the radios are slightly different out here. It's all HCF radio and there's different frequencies and some different um, procedures. So what I would do is when we were doing simulators with my commercial students, I would take them to Hawaii because some of the procedures are slightly different. And not only that, 
But there's a lot going on with volcanoes and magnetic variation due to the uh, volcanoes and potential volcanic ashes, but also there's a lot of hang gliding, there's a lot of um, recreational, lighter than sport, or light sport, uh, stuff like that. So it was great quizzing ground for my commercial students, and then also the sectional charts have a buttload of information on them. And then so I could go, hey, what's this symbol, uh, symbology mean? What's this symbol mean? And that type of stuff. Uh, so I learned about some of the radio techniques and phraseology and things for Hawaii. But I've been looking into the Caribbean flying, and that's different. Some islands provide radar services. One two seven decimal six. Good day. One two seven decimal six. Mahalo six seven November. Going to one two seven decimal six Islander Bravo November two. I think we were talking to them earlier, weren't we? Enter Islander Bravo November two eight thousand feet. I know uh, there's things Islander like the Bravo, uh, uh, inches of mercury. Three zero one zero inches of mercury versus the uh, millibars hectopascals. So we say three zero one zero, um, and what is that? One zero two zero in um, hectopascals. It's like a rapid descent. Climb and maintain. Thousand feet altimeter three zero decimal one zero. All right, sir. Yeah, you said slow to. Uh, we have altimeter three zero one zero. Does not exceed two eight zero in the transition to United uh, four seventeen. Affirmative. Uh, climb maintain eight thousand three zero one zero. Climb and maintain eight thousand feet. Islander Bravo November two. We're at eight thousand on altitude mode. I don't understand. Oh, our D me kicking? Wait, 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 wait. They want us to just fly this heading? No, we gotta overfly. We're going to be going through Honolulu's Bravo. What do you mean you want us to fly this heading for another 114 miles? Okay, we'll cross Lindy at a maintain nine thousand. Honolulu, six seven November, indicating eight thousand. What do you want me to do? I'm at eight thousand. If this is a new bug, this is going to be worse than the ATC Pong, where they just pop us back and forth between frequencies. Yeah, we're about to disconnect our radio and fly without talking to you if you keep telling me to expedite, because we are indicating 8,000. It's runway 5 approaching the lake. They just... It's like an auctioneer. And so if you are always thinking ahead, like, hmm, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to be doing an instrument approach. You've briefed the instrument approach. You know what fixes you're flying to. When ATC just starts shooting information rapid fire at you, you're kind of already primed what you are expecting to hear. Now, it could be wrong. That's called an expectation bias. Say you're flying along expecting a certain fix, and they rapid fire information at you, you might be hearing what you Islander were thinking. Then to six six seven November, indicating eight thousand. Altimeter three zero one zero. I'm just gonna keep telling them that. It's overwhelming because you're talking on the same frequency. I'm gonna cancel my flight plan with you. I shouldn't be getting mad. Climb 
it's always a battle against me and Microsoft Flight Sim ATC. I enjoy live ATC because it kind of reminds me that real ATC is not always as frustrating. Back in the land, my student had no idea there was an emergency while they were doing their flight training, but I was just listening in the background. No. Island of November. November. Contact Honolulu Center on 135.4. 135.4. Cool. I'm glad to get away from you. Good day, 6 7 November. Going to 135.4 Islander Bravo November 2. Center November 9667 November Islander 8000 feet. Honolulu Center Islander Bravo November 2 8000. Let's see if they get mad at us too. Islander Bravo November 2 Honolulu Center Altimeter 30 decimal 10 continue as planned. 3010. Yeah, it's very low. Thanks for the heads up though. Let's see if they get mad at us for not being at 8,000 feet when we're indicating 8,000. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, by the way, hello oh, and Honolulu. We're right over top the airport here. Whoa, I just got an achievement. What's that for? Instrumental. Accumulate 50 hours of IFR flight time, including at least one takeoff and landing. What? What VOR do we have tuned in? That's Nav 2. We're at 8,000 feet. Would you stop telling me that? Thank you. Uh, localizer in the Honolulu. Oh! So we're listening to the localizer. Oh, that's cool. All right. Yeah, we're listening to the localizer. That's what that is. Okay. Well. Bravo, November 2, verify squawking 0357. What? We were. Verifying. And identing. Islander Bravo, November 2, please expedite your climb 8,000 feet. Okay, what's going on? Why are, why do we have instrument failures happening right now? And how do we only acquire 50 hours of IFR flying? And it's kind of ironic that we got that 50 hours on a VF, a VMC conditions. But ATC's now mad at us. Can we just cancel IFR and fly visually? Like, Delta four, you're gonna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, day. Good day to you, too, sir. We don't want to talk to you. You're telling us we're wrong. My avionics are broke. 8,000 feet on the altimeter, 8,000 feet on the autopilot. Uh oh, we're having radio issues here. Islander Bravo November 2, verify squawking 0357. Whoops! HDF United 2373 is FAPA to 330. We, uh, we're just going to squawk radio failure and not talk to anybody for a little bit. How about that? We'll listen to Live ATC. Life is good, right? And then what we'll do is we'll call them back up and go, hey, we were experiencing some radio issues, but we seem to have sorted those out, you know? We'll be polite about it, and maybe they won't tell us we're at the wrong altitude. United, uh, 417, leaving 340 on the Captain Anderson, set heading 290. Of course. And uh, we should, they said expect a visual runway 3, so we should have good VFR conditions when we arrive. We will be tuning in the ATIS. Actually, we're not talking to approach since we're squawking 7600. Let's go ahead and tune in the ATIS now. Ayo! Information Quebec. Hello, Hawaii. Our Hawaiian 240. Zoom! Okay, direct to uh, Lanai, uh, Vortec, and city arrival again one more time. We're getting a little bit of cloud coverage in front of us, that makes sense. Uh, information Romeo was reporting overcast at 2000. Um, we'll see. <laughs> they still want us to do the visual approach. Sure, sure, we could do that, we could do that. 
If we get closer and the clouds are really starting to be below us, we'll descend earlier than later. Um, I mean, we could just descend IFR. That's not a problem on our GPS. We are on an IFR flight plan, although we're squawking 7600. Looks like we have 12 gallons of fuel on board. We're burning about 12 an hour from each tank. Six, so we got... I'm thinking we need to reduce our fuel consumption here. Our cruising, our airspeed is going to go down, indicated. We still have a strong tailwind right now, 132 knots, and we're indicating 100, we still got about 18 knot tailwind. Uh, so we're going to really pull that fuel flow back. Now we're only indicating 8 gallons an hour. We went from 12 to 8, so now we just went from about 30 minutes to almost an hour of flight time remaining at our current condition. Perfect. Gotta love constant speed propellers. All right, we're approaching our last waypoint here. Adulata. Does that animation seem a little bit glitchy to you, or laggy? Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we would like to welcome aboard Bilgewater EU. Thank you for joining our flight today. Welcome aboard, General Air. We have a custom yoke that they've installed in our airplane today for us at General Airlines. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Welcome aboard, everyone. Um. What? Wait, 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 whoa. Uh huh. Uh huh, full power. Um, propeller full forward. Mixture rich. Fuel pump on. Fuel pumps on. Fuel selector. That's affirmative. Nope. Nope. Magneto's on. Starter. Starboard. Starter port. Okay, we're, what was our squawk code? Zero, five. Oh, wait, we're already squawking seven, six. All right, we're just going to switch that to um, seven, seven, zero, zero. Okay. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, at this time, we are having uh, a little bit of um, engine issues. Uh, we're going to be setting it down here in the water. I don't think we can... Seat in the last yeah! Uh, get those life vests on. Keep your seatbelts on. And enjoy the flight. We're going to go for a little bit swim. I hope you packed your swimsuit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. We have fuel. We have five gallons in each tank. Fuel valves are on. Two pumps are on. Just center one, seventy three, beginning flight level three two zero for ten thousand at Babel. fix our radio issues that we were having earlier, but now we have a dual engine failure. Uh, this November 9 or 6, 6, 7 November, dual engine failure. Uh, we currently have nine, ten souls on board, uh, approaching with uh, 6,000, 5,500 descending. We're going to have to set it down in the water. Alright, we got to go ahead and shut everything down. Fuel pump, valves, off, off, cut off, cut off. All right, everything's shut down. Let's go ahead, feather the propellers, throttle closed. We already don't can't restart the engine, mixture down. All of our lights are on, doors are locked, seatbelt sign's on. We're just kind of gliding now down towards the water. We've already made our radio call. Uh, we're going to keep the electronics on for as long as possible so we can make a radio call 
let's see here um, do we have Latin lawn I'm just gonna glide it down everything's going well everything's going well I don't think it's carburetor icing and it's probably too late for carburetor heat to be on but Yeah, we've lost him. I'm impressed with how long we've been gliding from 8,000 feet. We've made it a good distance closer to our uh, island. There it is. We can see him. HCF radio, November 9 or 6, 6, 7, November. Dual engine failure. We're setting it down in the water. Um, we are just about Oscar Lima, Oscar Yankee, India, on Victor Airway from Honolulu to Lanai. Uh, 1,000 feet, and we're going to go ahead and shut down the power. Alright. Avionics Master off. Everything is off. Uh, how do I... Is there an electrical master? Can I turn that off? I don't know. Electric should be off. Oh, we still got our in-flight music going. That's... That's... Very much not helping us. Alright. I'm just gonna glide it in. Very quietly. Hey gentlemen, boys and girls, don't worry. Your captain is a commercial seaplane uh, sea pilot. Stay seated, keep your seatbelt on, and brace for impact. We're keeping our airspeed up. We're going to bleed off as much airspeed as we can without bleeding off altitude. We're going to hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And, okay, we're down. And I really wanted a nice smooth landing over in Lanai, but we had uh, 200 feet per minute, so I'll take it. I guess that's how we got it in the flight today. We can see the island off in the distance there, uh, but we didn't make it. We just got new upholstery. Now it's all going to be ruined by our... <laughs> The Pacific Ocean. <laughs> My upholstery and General Airlines dumped so much money into that. Oh no. Well, hopefully insurance will cover it, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your captain speaking. We've successfully landed in the water. You're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome for the landing that we have done. Hey, it's okay to say you're welcome. I don't want to get copyright right for that. Um, we're all alive. That is true, Goofy Daddy. Uh, we'd like to take a moment to just say mahalo. No coco ana elele. Gentle Airlines. Thank you for choosing to fly Gentle Air. We do apologize for the inconvenience. Hope you did bring your swimsuit. We gotta swim the remainder of the way to Lanai. We would like to be the first to welcome you there, but the scooty's correct. We're going to be the first to welcome you to Atlantis. We appreciate having each and every one of you on board. And boop, 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 boop. we'd like to thank today's sponsor, Journey Joe's, for giving us a good cup of coffee. Copy, copy, copy. Good cup of coffee to keep us awake and attentive when our engines failed. Mmm, good old Kona blend. General Airlines is now General Cruise Liner. <laughs> You are very welcome, everyone, for being alive, and uh, this is how we're going to end the stream today. I did not plan to run out of fuel. In fact, I made sure we had enough fuel for the flight. I think I just left my propeller and power too far forward. Uh, we had a nice tailwind. I could have really pulled back our power and let the tailwind carry us all across the islands. Uh, instead, ta-da! Well, we had this. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the stream. We'll see you next time.
We'll probably do another flight in Hawaii, redo this one at some point in the future. Bamboo to Maggie 3 South, let's see if he's